Hello again guys, so another treat. Now I have got such a sweet tooth to be honest with you and I have to literally restrict myself to a couple of treats a day. I know that sounds bad but I, in my line of work I have to try cakes and I have to try tea and as we've said before tea is never drink alone. But anyhow, what a treat we have for you today. So first of all let's talk about the tea guys. We are going to be pairing with the lovely Oties today. Now, if you haven't heard of Oties, you must go and find them out. Oties are a fully zero waste, fully ethical, fully organic, fully sustainable tea company with beautiful, delicious, high quality and natural tasting teas. Now, today we are going to be using their black tea with caramel. Now look at this envelope. It looks like plastic, it feels like plastic, but it certainly is not plastic. So OTs are committed to zero waste and um, this is actually made from a cornstarch solution. But anyhow, onto the good stuff now. So here's the tea. Now this is a black tea with caramel. So naturally one had to find an accompaniment that had a caramel tone as well. So here we are guys. This is the Chocolate Millionaire's Brownie with Salted Caramel. Now, have you noticed with everything else, I took such a little bite, but this is quite substantial because chocolate is my favorite. That is just so good. So the caramel within the tea is quite subtle and you've got the overwhelming delicious caramel within the brownie. When you combine them together, you get this chocolatey, malty, just amazing sensation. You have to, have to, have to check out OTs and you have to check them out with a salted caramel brownie. Here we are again, guys, and this time around, we've got a brand that most of you will recognize, readily available in most good supermarkets, the amazing Clipper Tea. So Clipper Tea celebrated 25 years of fair trade this year. I mean, how amazing is that? They were one of the first to market to really ensure that farmers and you know the supply chain in tea is fairly treated. And not only that, their teas are absolutely delicious. So we are going to be pairing their organic peppermint tea today. And we've got a selection of macarons. Now, the reason I've got a selection is because I'm greedy and I want to eat them all after. But for the purposes of the pairing, I think what I'm going to do, because of the mint tea, I want to pair it with something quite sweet and a little bit chocolatey as well. We all know mint and chocolate works so well. So here we go, guys. Here's the chocolate caramel macaron. I'm so excited to try this. Remarkable, absolutely delicious. Fresh, sharp, minty tones, cutting through, rich, dark, chocolatey caramel tones. Absolutely amazing. Please do try it and then comment below and let us know what you think, guys. And here we are again with the tea makers of London. Now, this time around, what I wanted to actually pair, so everybody. I know certainly loves an Earl Grey. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, Earl Grey, not my favourite tea. I just find that in many cases the bergamot is just so overbearing and it actually kills the profile of the tea leaves themselves. But why have I chosen to pair an Earl Grey if I'm not a big fan? Because the tea makers of London have the Earl Grey Supreme. So obviously we all know that um, Earl Grey is flavoured with bergamot oil, but in some cases as we've said it gets a little bit too powerful, so how do you balance that? So what the tea makers of London have done is they've actually used such a strong orthodox Ceylonese tea which is really dark, really pungent and it actually balances out the bergamot extremely well. So you get this beautiful, rich, glorious colour as well. I wish you could smell this guys, it does smell absolutely incredible. Um, I'm actually going to show you the leaf on the ticket here. You can see it's very dark, beautiful. Mm. I could actually wear that as a cologne, I think. Okay, so what are we pairing it with? The most interesting element. We're going to be pairing it with a Canelli again, but this time it's a fig uh, Canelli because what we wanted to do was have a little bit more of a fruity tone to balance that floral bergamot aroma as well. So I'm going to go straight in, guys, and dive straight in. 
Mmm, really delicious. Natural sweetness of the fig is amazing. Wow, that is just absolutely incredible. It works so well. The floral tones, as I said, cut through the sweet richness of the fig, and then the black tea works amazingly well with the sticky caramel flavour of the cannelli. Again, one to try at home.